Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. Sometimes I think that guys are pretty shocked and sometimes surprised that they are not needed in a relationship where the female is making money. If she's making money, if she's respected on her job, if she has a position of power at her job, that's unnerving for guys. And whereas this guy is saying he's devastated, that she doesn't love him anymore, that kind of stuff. I don't feel it's that. I feel it's because the lady, the female, is taking the initiative in her life. She's commanding and she's controlling and she's she's driving her own life. And she is deciding what she wants to do and what she no longer wants to do. And the fact that he is not part of it is it, it, it's it's affecting him it's affecting him okay because were he in a situation where he could call the shots you know it would be a different situation so guys are finding it very hard to handle a woman in full a woman in full okay they, they find it difficult and i feel as though christine in these stories is like has a maleish type personality i almost wonder if it's a guy that's answering the questions when these people write in talking about being devastated in love in love and that kind of stuff is it a man behind this um these, these responses because it doesn't seem feminine but anyhow the husband is chatting with other women it's gonna happen and you should not expect it not to happen i think it's unreasonable for you to expect a guy not to be a guy as I've spoken about this before, even yesterday. I don't want to talk about it every day, but you know, it's in your paper. It's in your paper. I think it's unreasonable for you to come in the paper. Maybe young people are watching these kind of things and giving the impression that a guy is supposed to be sitting on the couch with a baby on his lap. That's the most absurd photo. If you ever see something that looks real uncomfortable, sometimes you see a photo that looks really uncomfortable. I've, I've said it before. It's a guy sitting on the couch and a baby's in his lap. Oh my God. Talk about being trapped. Talk about being trapped. That's the biggest trap a guy could ever find himself in. Yeah, they can pretend to say, oh, I love being a dad. I love being a dad. Yeah, you love being a dad, but you may not like being a husband as much as like being a dad. But yeah, let the guys be. Let them be. Opposites do not attract. Opposites do not attract. Let the guys be. Okay? And if you let them be, you, you'll find out that you're probably a means to an end. They wanted a child or they wanted a couple of kids, you know, before they passed on. And they picked you. They picked you. You know, many times you think you're picking them, but they're picking you too. It's all, it's pick, 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 pick. There's a lot of picking going on. So, but you have to, people need to let other people be, let women come into themselves. The brain, the brain is not really developed to the point of making any sort of um, lifelong decision until maybe close to 40, close to 40. And for guys, it's probably even later. So just take your time, take your time in love. In the meanwhile, make your own money and whatever you want, provide whatever you want. Make sure you're able to provide it for yourselves. Okay, this is Sherry Veronica.